G'day guys, I'm back for another Star Wars review and I've got myself something special today uh, just arrived in the mail is this deluxe version of the Bespin Hand Solo Exo Gorth Escape so on the box we have a picture of the Falcon uh, it goes over onto the sides as well And I'll open it up so you can see how it displays. Looking excellent. Um, the figure just looks beautiful and it's quite a good uh, display on the box. Very reluctant to open it up. But I'm going to open it up for you guys so we can take a quite closer look at it. The entire backdrop slides out of the box uh, so you don't need to destroy this display box at all. You can see here it's still, still intact so we'll be able to put this back away once we've done looking at it. Um, unfortunately the figures are attached in that display, so going to have to cut some rubber bands and so forth to get them out. I was hoping that wouldn't be necessary, but yeah, looks like it has to be done. The Minoc just has one rubber band. The detailing on the wings alone is great. Uh, the bones, the veins, looking very much like a bat's wing. Excellent work. A very pliable plastic. Uh, exactly right it's not too soft and not too firm that it feels like it'll snap yeah really impressed with this now let's take a look at that hand now the hand solo figure is attached in there pretty well I was hoping he would be able to just pop out, but uh, there's a whole series of elastic bands holding him in place. Uh, we've got one across each shoulder, a couple on the arm here, one on the arm here, and at least two more around the ankles. And I think they're going to have to be cut to get him out of there. So I'll just do that and then we'll take a look at the figure. Finally able to get him loose from the packaging. He was just absolutely surrounded by this material. But first impressions of the figure are just wow. I'll just get that backdrop out of the way so we can focus absolutely stunned with how good this figure looks this might be one of Hasbro's best ever detailing on this is spot on and they're starting to hide those joints really well starting to catch up with Necker about time. His gas mask is completely detachable. There's another one of those bands. Did not even see that one. A 
cut that one loose. He's just covered in those in the box. Here's the gas mask. Absolutely incredible detailing. Hopefully, at some stage in the future, we will get the survival kit that we all mailed away for way back in the 80s. We finally got a really good face for a Han Solo figure. That photo real 3D printing Wow. It's not a hundred percent, but considering some of the figures we've gotten in the past, this is a big step up. Color scheme is really nice as well. Now this jacket looks completely detachable that's uh, coming off I won't take it off all the way because it uh, looks like it could be an ordeal to get it back on but you can see by that it does come off all the way Impressive step forward. You've got a single hinged elbow. Hopefully they'll start adopting that double hinged elbow that Necker has. Now his blaster isn't loose in the packaging, it comes in the holster. Get a close up on that. That is just blowing my mind. The detail on that. It actually looks like a leather holster. The paintwork is so good. Little bit of a uh, bad paintwork here. Silver and the brown of mixed in there's some brown on the buckle there and silver on the belt but i'm not going to complain too much because yeah i think uh i think we've got a number with new number one for um star wars black series figures here now it's just not the holster that has great detailing uh, that blaster looks like it's been updated as well. Now on the holster here, there's just a little attachment there. And that DL44, it's in there nice and tight. A little warped. Straightens right up. But the detailing on that. Wood finish for the handle. Not sure if the other versions of Han that have been released had that. Can't remember. So here's the holster without the weapon. Slides back in there. Nice, it's a really nice tight fit. And that uh, just popped back in there nice and easy. So we've got the yellow racetrack marking down the side of the legs. 
Uh, that's not bad paintwork, it's just not lined up perfectly because we've got a swivel, swivel upper thigh. And we've got that double hinge knee. I really hope they start doing the double hinged elbow as well. And hinged and ball ankle joint. And just the detailing, overall detailing. Wow, so impressed with this figure. Looks like we might have some extra detailing on the neck as well. We've got two joints. The neck piece is uh, completely separate. So we've got what looks like a ball and pin for the actual head. Joins at the jawline. But then there's another joint at the base of the neck there. Giving a really great range of movement. Now this is a real winner. This is a new favourite for me. Not sure how the deluxe version is going to compare to the standard version, whether this one has some extra features or not. I'm not sure if that new belt, new holster, is going to be standard. But that is absolutely fantastic. I can't praise that high enough. Gas mask slips back on easy enough. There is just a little clip here. Well, it's not even a clip. And that just attaches to the jacket there. This is the other accessory that comes with it. Meant to be some kind of tool or something from the Falcon. Um, very much looks like the end of a petrol pump that you would put into your car. I love everything about this. This is just great. Um, I hope you got something out of this video as well. I hope I've done this justice. Uh, but that's all from me today. And I'll be back with another review really soon.